It's time to rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Good morning, children of the Lord. I hope you're ready to shine for Jesus today. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for our time in God's Word for our Good Morning Devotions. Let's sing good morning to God. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. We know that God shows us his way in the Bible. That's how God teaches us. And when we obey God's word, Things go much better for us. We're going to learn about someone today who did not disobey God's word, and we're going to find out what happened. In the book of the Bible called Jonah, many of you already know the story about Jonah and the big fish. Well, in Jonah chapter 1 verse 17, it says, The Lord provided a great fish to swallow Jonah. Hmm. Let's read about that today in our Tiny Talks. Our story is called No Vacation. It was Bible story time. Miss Plumper said, Have you heard of Jonah in the Bible who disobeyed God? The Lord gave him a special message. Preach to the city of Nineveh. Jonah hated Nineveh. Well, said Miss Plumper, such a thing should be deplored. But foolish Jonah just ignored the special message from the Lord. He said, some other land should be explored, but not the place picked by the Lord. So Jonah went on vacation. He found a trip he could afford and paid the fare and went on board. He yawned and dozed and snoozed and snored until the mighty tempest roared. The lightning flashed, the rain downpoured, and Jonah tumbled overboard. What happened then? cried Don. He was swallowed by a great fish, said Miss Plumper, and he didn't like it. It was smelly. He feared he would just turn into jelly inside that stinking fish's belly. So he told God he was sorry for disobeying. And the Lord forgave him, and that fish hiccuped him out. Do you think Jonah went to Nineveh? Do you think he learned to obey the Lord? All the children said, I should think so. <laughs> Who disobeyed God in our story? Jonah did, that's right. And what happened to Jonah because he disobeyed? He was thrown overboard in a storm that God sent. And God sent a fish to swallow him. That was God's way of saving Jonah's life and for getting Jonah to realize, I need to obey the Lord. And so he did. And do you know what happened? Jonah went to Nineveh and Jonah preached about God. And the Bible tells us that all the people believed. They all became believers in God. It's a mighty thing that happened that day in Nineveh. And it's all because Jonah decided to obey God. It's important to obey God. God knows what's best for us. God wants what's best for us. So when we obey him, things are much better. <laughs> well, I hope you have a wonderful day today. I would love to sing a blessing over you. May the Lord mighty God bless and keep you forever. Grant you peace, perfect peace, strength in every endeavor. Lift up your eyes and seek his face and his grace forever. May the Lord mighty God bless and keep you forever. <laughs> Remember, when we obey God, we are blessed with peace, perfect peace. Have a great, wonderful, blessed day. See you next.
next time.